Oh, how's it going today? Good day to you. So this is, yeah, it's a lovely spring day. It's very wet, very soggy. And it's actually kind of cold out. Oh well, enough of the weather. <clears throat> anyway, this is the Christie bulb tester, or it's an electronic tester. It's technically, well, it's technically an appliance tester. Christie was a trade school, you know, we order from the back of one of those magazines in 9 dollars and somehow promise your life's enslavement. And anyway, I never realized this. I got this in a box of junk. It was uh, five, five bucks at an auction today. Anyway, uh, I got this and I thought, well, who unwired this? Why would you unwire the Christie bulb tester? Well, it's not unwired, dim bulb tester. It's, uh, it was a kit, it was never built. Apparently it was, maybe it was too complicated. Mm -hmm. So I've been looking at this and uh, I was, I've seen one of these before. I think I seen one of these on eBay one time. I was prowling around, but I wasn't willing to give like $39.95 plus shipping for a basic bulb tester. And uh, kind of gives, this kind of gives it away how old this may be. It's entirely possible that they never rescreened these and they just kept making them and coughing them out. Apparently they couldn't be bothered to get the labeling on there just right. Uh, there's no ground lug. The plug is not polar. Well, I'll we'll take that back. That one is polarized. <clears throat> but it might be installed wrong. <clears throat> there's no line cord on this, so back then this probably would have came with an unpolarized mains cord or line cord. Your choice. And I was looking at this. There's a couple things on here that don't make sense to me because I don't use uh, testers this way. But back in the day, there weren't digital voltmeters and there were analog voltmeters could have been very expensive. If you were just a kind of a jack of all trades or had a little fix-it shop, you might have had something like this. Anyway, I got to thinking about this. And what some of this is, is you were going to hook test probes up and actually... Um, kind of like use it to test appliances to poke around in there and I believe the way this was wired the the bulb was in series with mains power so I believe mains power came in probably hit the fuse lit up this pilot lamp uh, I believe this either used the test lamp or went to through this this socket with this this is a shunt um, I believe this might have been an indicator light, might have ran this. But basically, in a nutshell, you had mains power on these probes out in the open with uh, no safety, really, and you were going to kind of get your butt kicked if you got across it the wrong way. The way I use dim bulb testers is just that. I, you know, you plug them in, you put a, a bulb in here, and then you use the socket. I never use these. I've got a couple other similar testers every trade school had when they must have been cheap enough to make or they were mandatory I don't know so I'll have to see if we can figure out how to wire this up I think I have to look pretty hard maybe the Wayback Machine can help me I remember seeing a website one time that had a little blurb and some actual documentation about how to assemble in the schematic for the Christie bulb tester uh, you can usually find one of these on flea bag bay but uh, they're they're a bit pricey and there is a kind of a nifty little carrying case i don't remember you know like i don't know 50 videos back i if i find it i'll put the link down but don't hold your breath i had another bulb tester from one of the other trade schools and it had a cute little case these are kind of i don't know nostalgia piece nowadays you would probably build something a little more i don't know useful but i don't know Nothing wrong with this. This means it's a nice press board. Oh, that's clever. It grind off that notch. So that's just a standard electrical outlet. Maybe I can find a more modern one and put a three-prong one on there. Although a lot of the radios I deal with are just two prongers. And it begs a lot of questions, doesn't it? About the electrical safety or the safety of something. <laughs> Oh well, we'll let you scoot. I just thought I'd show you that, and it'll be back in a bit after I get some instructions. Take it easy. Have a groovy day.